Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my art channel. My name is Sam and today I have something really exciting to share. This is called the sketchbook project and this is something that I've been wanting to do for probably, I don't know, like five years. So let me tell you guys a little bit about what this is. Basically the sketchbook project is run by the Brooklyn Art Library. You pay to purchase one of their sketchbooks as well as a right to have that sketchbook in their space in Brooklyn, New York. And this is a project um, that anybody around the world can do and that many people already have. Uh, so what basically I'm going to do is hopefully <laughs> finish this on time, fill it full of whatever. If I get this postmarked on time, it will go into the bookmobile and do a little tour. Not entirely sure where they go, but it's outside of Brooklyn, so that's great. And yeah, it's also digitized. I decided to pay a little bit extra to get it scanned, and that just basically means that anyone can look at my sketchbook online, as well as go to Brooklyn and check it out and look at it in person, which is so cool. It is a little bit pricey, but you just have to keep in mind that the Brooklyn Art Library runs on donations as well as the money that you pay for these sketchbooks. So that's how they continue to do this. They're a nonprofit organization. So opening up this little packet that they sent me, um, it looks like here's our sketchbook. It's just a blank, very average, typical five by seven inch sketchbook, um, craft cover and back with your barcode that they're going to scan everything in with and um, just plain old white paper. The paper is pretty thin and average and I have done some research. Based on other people's opinions, it's not great paper for mixed media. And I am definitely a mixed media artist. I like wet media. So that is why we're going to be rebinding the book today. And it also gives you this little sheet here, which is your prompt list. I don't think you need to choose a prompt. I think you could do whatever you want, but um, I will probably choose a prompt because it keeps me on track. And then on the other side, we have our instructions and shipping and all that stuff. All right, guys, so today we are going to rebind this. I've never rebound a book in my life. Um, <laughs> so I'm just kind of winging it. Hopefully it goes well and let's get right into it. The very first step to this process was just choosing the kinds of paper that I wanted in my book. I did a watercolor, a black and a toned tan paper, as well as a mixed media. And I did that so that I had more options with the media that I would use and the effects that I could get. All watercolor artists, please tell me, how do you get it off the block without ripping it? Because I can't. I need help. After that, I just had to cut all my paper down to size. It needed to be 7 inches by 10 inches so that when I folded it, it would be 5 by 7, which were the guidelines for the dimensions. Once I had all my paper relatively sized, I then pulled out this cute little <laughs> book binding set that I ordered just for this and a little plastic bone folder so that I could get my edges nice and crisp, clean and flat. It's so satisfying. I decided I was going to go with two signatures. I think I didn't have a clear idea of how I was going to bind this book at this point. So here's me kind of fitting it in, trying to figure out what am I going to do. I was looking up tutorials and they were all different, so I just decided to go for it. I started puncturing holes. I did not record it, but I did line up all the holes of the two signatures as well as the spine, the original cover of the book. Oh my goodness, here we go, the sewing. So I struggled really, really bad with the sewing. There's a lot of bookbinding tutorials on YouTube, um, but I feel like a lot of the small details are missing. Like, for instance, the kind of knot you use to tie to the needle when you're using bookbinding thread. I, this needle came off so many times and I struggled, see, look at this, oh my gosh. Yeah, I was getting, a little bit overwhelmed, a little bit frustrated. Oh, here it goes again. Every time. But, hey, we made it through. Um, yeah, lots of tutorials on the 
basics of what to do, but not necessarily the specifics. So I kind of like totally winged the sewing portion. I took the two signatures, I sewed one completely together before sewing the other to it, and this is how it came out. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty wild, not gonna lie, but hey, it holds. I used some PVA glue just to make sure everything stayed in place. I really lathered it on before moving on to my cover. Now, this is actually backing board that I would use for prints. I decided to cut these because they're nice and thick. And I'm using a little piece of cloth that I had to kind of hold everything together. Something, something sturdy, but not um, stiff. Glued the spine, the two cover boards, and glued the cloth down onto those. I did not record it for some reason, but I took my uh, cover and back piece and glued that just right on top of those backing boards. So now it's nice and sturdy, it's like a hard cover. I also didn't record gluing the cloth onto my signatures, but I did that so that I could take that cloth and glue it against the back of my cover. And this is basically what is holding my signatures to the cover of my book. And I hope that it's sturdy. I hope that glue holds because that is all really that is holding it. Once these were nice and dry and glued firmly, I cut out these really cool pages from, uh, they're like scrapbook pages that I have. And they're kind of like galaxy themed, which is one of my favorite things. And I use those to make the inside cover look a little prettier. I also glued a small section to the very first and last page as per the guidelines of all the tutorials. And the way that I actually got this book to size to be exactly five by seven inches is I just cut all these pages right around the corners. All right guys, so this is how it came out. It's definitely kind of, what's the word? <laughs> it's got a handmade feel to it. Um, but for my very first attempt at bookbinding, I'm pretty proud of it. I think it's cool. I like the handmade feel personally. So now I just have to fill it up and uh, that will be the next part of this series. So I hope you guys enjoyed my <laughs> struggle. <laughs> um, and if you're interested in watching me fill this up and ship it off, then please stay tuned for the next video. Till then, see you next time. Spring wants a cameo. Ta ta! You can't be in the video. Go on. <gasps> no! I'm still gonna use it. I don't even care. Here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This one's too short.